Yanda, I am never going to get a real day job. It's impossible to get a real day job. I, I wish there was a hidden camera here just to show you what's been going on behind the scenes. I mean, it's been hysterical because uh, between Baba and the MEC and uh, our uh, former colleague here at Morning Life, Nino Zama, and everyone else that's come here and they're bringing little crocodiles out and things like You've never seen jumping and screaming like this in your life before. It is, it's been, I mean, the MEC is the bravest, though. I, I, MEC... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to compliment you, but I'm not really. You are scared. You're worse than me. Yeah, I am. I'm scared. I'm, I was scared. It's, it's, it's exciting at the same time. Scary and exciting at the same time. It is, isn't it? I mean, you were held. You know, the worst thing was holding this little crocodile. And then Anton makes it like bite or do whatever. And I, I throw. I wanted. I was screaming. Oh, it's terrible. It I is. Don't know. It I is don't know. terrible. It's, it's an experience. Beautiful. It's an experience it is. It that is. you can't buy. Eh? It's good fun. It's good fun. I'm glad you came here because I know you had a big mm. night last night. You were announcing the nominees for the, the province sports, sports awards. Yes, we slept at 3 a.m. this morning and we had to be <laughs> up. We're celebrating, enjoying. We had a great evening yeah. and we want to thank all the people who came in their numbers last night and uh, all the federations that nominated um, the athletes, the coaches, the administrators and congratulate all those who have been nominated. Yeah, that is awesome. I mean, can you, can you talk us through a couple of the, the, the big nominees? Well, we don't have a lot of big names. Okay. Um, um, being in a province, I think uh, we've realized that uh, we should focus on giving more exposure to um, the up-and-coming uh, athletes. Um, you have Kune, you have um, um, you have Teko Modise, um, you have the Makanya, the lady, the athlete. Um, uh, those are some of the big names that you will know. Uh, otherwise, the rest, it's uh, up-and-coming athletes who are doing well. For that, is, that is so encouraging. I think that's absolutely fantastic because people want to see new faces and they also want to be encouraged that, you know, there is there's space for these developing stars because this uh, this province pumps out stars and that's amazing. It's exciting. Exactly. And, you know, it becomes difficult for Gaudi because there's a high concentration of uh, big athletes. Everybody yeah. who makes it wherever they are in the country, they must come to Gaudi. Thing, yeah? We will give them space, we will support them, create conducive environment, uh, invest resources, uh, but at the same time we must get the new athletes, uh, up and coming yeah. ones, to be exposed. Excellent. Now, I mean, you've had a, a, such an interesting journey um, as, as the MEC of, uh, of sports and recreational f development here in the province. Uh, one thing or one project that you're working on now are these, these six state-of-the-art community libraries that are going to be handed over to the municipalities. Talk to us about this. What exactly is it? Well, we have already concluded the building of the libraries. Yeah. The six, we are now handing them over. We have actually just started two weeks back with the construction of eight new libraries. Um, this is part of um, our mandate as a department on the arts and culture side. I know people are concentrating on sports in most cases, but on the arts and culture side, we also do libraries, we do heritage, we do museums, um, and do arts and culture stuff as well. So we are building these eight libraries. Um, we'll be uh, we're finishing with them in February, March uh, next year. And we are very happy. We want to thank the communities where we're building these libraries because they've been very cooperative. People have been able to be employed. The local businesses have uh, benefited. And uh, these libraries will also bring life in those uh, many um, uh, communities that we where we have built them in and uh, young people will come in large numbers we hope people will use those uh, effectively and protect them but uh, we, because uh, we don't want people to trash those libraries whenever they march or they are angry because it's just evil and satanic for people to do that we should uh, condemn it uh, with, with, with the contempt it deserves we urge our people to look after those libraries they uh, those libraries belongs to them we have used public funds to build them they are not government uh, libraries they are public libraries so if yeah. they trash them they're trashing their own property yeah yeah good good message to put out because it's really important you're possibly one of the youngest MECs that are around in this country uh, what's it been like for you and, and especially being in the in in the portfolio of sport and recreation I mean it's it's been an interesting time for you the elections are around the corner how are you feeling well, um, firstly, I'm, I'm humbled and I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the Premier and the ANC for giving me the opportunity to serve in government. 
it has been quite an experience. I've learned a lot. I've, I, I was working with very knowledgeable, experienced um, um, leaders uh, in the ANC. Some of them have been there since '94 in the legislature, in government. I've learned quite a lot uh, from them, and I'm very humbled. Um, and I, I wish that man, many more young people can be given this opportunity. Yeah. Um, it's quite an experience. You learn quite a lot about issues of governance. It opens uh, uh, your eyes. I've worked with very good people in the department, my officials, the HOD, uh, all my staff in the office, uh, everybody. And, and, and I'm very happy and I want to take this opportunity to thank them for um, the good work that they've done. We've mm -hmm. achieved a clean audit for the first time since 94 as a department mm -hmm. and it's because of, of their efforts. We've yeah. achieved so much uh, because of the advice and guidance I've received from the leadership of the ANC, from the Premier, my colleagues uh, in, the, in the cabinet. Every time I had problems, I would go to the senior um, uh, uh, members of the executive, ask for advice, yeah. and I always, I was never disappointed. I always get a, a, a good, good advice. Fantastic. So thanks to the public of Gauteng as well. For me, receptive, those people who worked with in the sectors of arts and culture, sports, want to thank them as well. MEC, well done. Thank you for being with us and uh, enjoy. You better go down the zip slide. Seen as in you're here, you can't let this one go. I'm going to run away now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, you're naughty. Oh. <laughs> MEC, thank you so much for being Thanks, with us yeah. and uh, and congratulations on your time. All right, let's uh, let, let's take a quick break here.